What? All right, oh, order in this court. Order in this court. This court is now back <clears> in <throat> session. I just want to look at your res. <laughs> oh my god. Are the people prepared to give their opening statement? Yes, we are. All right. Please step forward. <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the court. Today, I plan on only presenting you with the facts. No tall tales, no half-truths, no bull. The defense will try and paint another picture. And although it may be pretty, it won't be the truth. By the time this trial is finished, I know you have no Ooh, choice but to consider Ronald Sass. guilty on what? all charges. Nothing further, Your Honor. Thank you, ma'am. Is the defense prepared to give its opening statement? Absolutely. Your Honor. Yeah. All right. Let me just pause the court for a moment. You got the guy in the black jacket right there with the bald head. Not the ones with his arms crossed. Doing the jerking motion again. Get him out of here. All right, wonderful. One year, $20,000. Yes, $20, oh, sir, my could you, God. Could you please, could you please follow what? Me? <clears throat> Pardon us for a minute. Is everybody uh, trying to masturbate in the court? Uh, All right. Deputy, please step forward and, and, and uh, take the sergeant's place for a moment, if you don't mind. Mr. Shaw. Apologies for the interruptions. You may uh, you may give your opening statement, sir. Not a problem. So, Your Honor and members of the jury, I'd like to start off by saying thank you for taking the time out of your day to be here. And we're here today because my client, Ronald Juggler, who stands right there, has been falsely accused of an alleged drug trafficking uh, on the basis of an assumption. We're going to hear today from the officers involved, and, and you will find a severe lack of evidence proving the elements required for charging my client with drug trafficking. Thank you. Here right. comes witness number one. I think it's going to be gunning. call their first witness. <clears throat> the people would like to call Mari Jones to the scene. Mari Jones? All right, it's good to hear. All right, uh, <clears throat> were you the medic that responded to the 1047 call involving Officer Dunning, or Corporal Dunning Objection, and Your Honor. Leading. I'm just trying to confirm that she was the one that responded. Sustained, please rephrase. Okay. Did you recall, or, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Did you respond to any 1047 calls the night of April Objection, 11th, 2019? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. Overruled on that one. She replaced one word. What? You may answer. Uh, yes, Ms. West, I... Ms. West, please yeah. define 1047 for the jury, and uh, everybody here who is Apologies. used to speaking in 10 codes, please do remember that the jury are lay people, and uh, we require that these things be defined for them in plain English. Uh, 1047 is an in injured individual. All right, let me uh, rephrase that. Did you respond to any car accidents that night? I did, yes. Uh, did you respond to any... Uh, with Ronald Juggler and Officer Dunning. Objection, Your Honor. Did, yes. Leading. Overruled. I did, the yes. witness may answer. Don't worry, guys. Can you describe the scene when you arrived? Uh, when I arrived on scene, I saw Corporal Dunning uh, inspecting a individual who is lying on the ground. When I approached the scene, I did learn that the individual was Mr. Juggler. He appeared to have been ejected from his vehicle. It was a red vehicle on the scene. Can you identify Ronald Juggler in this courtroom today? I can, yes. Could you do that for me, please? Uh, yes, he's the gentleman standing uh, just over there by Mr. I don't, Shaw. I don't know what they're going yeah, for sure. here. Were there any other individuals on scene besides Mr. Juggler and Officer Dunning? I, uh, not that I recall. Hmm. Okay. And can you confirm that you indeed transported Mr. Juggler to Pillbox Medical? Yes, I can. All right. Thank you. No further questions. <clears throat> Hello, Miss Jones. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Were you the first person to arrive on scene? Chat, I know she isn't. <clears throat> no, sir. I was not. And were there any clear indications as to how uh, this car accident that you described um, occurred? I do not have any evidence as to how the car accident occurred. No further questions. Do the people wish to redirect? No, we do not, Your Honor. You may step down with the court's thanks. This is going to be a quick case, guys, unless jury uh, deliberation takes a while. Would the people like to call their next witness? <clears throat> yes, I would. Uh... Officer Michael Dunning, please. 
This is where it's going to get interesting, chat. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> All right. Huh? Thank um, you. I'll be asking some more questions. Uh, did you respond to any 1047, or excuse me, any uh, inner, injured individual calls on North Rockford Drive the night of April 11th, 2019? Yes, I did, ma'am. Can you describe the scene as you arrived? As I arrived on the uh, right-hand side of the road traveling northbound on North Rockford Drive, we had a crashed out red Nissan GTR. Uh, Slightly south of that, Ronald Jala was located by a wall clearly ejected from the vehicle. I moved the individual closer to his vehicle under the light of a street light to allow me to assess the situation and uh, call EMS for a medical assessment. Uh, did you run the license plate and registration on the vehicle on scene? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. Yes, I did, ma'am. He's going to overrule it. He's asking if he... Uh performed his job yeah, and unseen. it's not really allowing for mr dunning to give his version of events mr shaw would you please define for me what leading is well uh in this situation she's giving not uh, in this situation in general what is the legal term what is the legal definition of leading sir judge ardson again in this situation she's not allowing mr dunning to give his version of events and is implying something occurred no, she is asking a yes or no question without giving a direct indication as to whether yes or no would be the correct answer. In order for a question to be leading, sir, she has to indicate which answer is correct. A simple yes or no does not indicate which answer is correct. You are overruled, sir. May I answer the question, Your Honor? Yes, you may. Yes, I ran the plates of the vehicle. The vehicle okay. returned to Ronald Juggler. All right, thank you. At this time, I would like the jury to look at People's B, <clears throat> and then I would also like to ask you, uh, where was the vehicle People's parked? B. Uh, the vehicle was on the right-hand side of the road, oncoming lane. Uh, the nose end of the vehicle was uh, on the oncoming right lane, sorry. Side. While the rear of the vehicle was parked and immovable on the sidewalk uh, nearest the movie studio. Oh, okay. Nearest the... okay. Uh, in your report, you claim that you called for a state impound. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can I ask you, why did you call for a state impound? At the, at the time, I initially attempted to call for a uh, city tow through uh, our wonderful people of Los Santos. Um, at the time, however, the people I made contact with were either unavailable or busy, um, at which t uh, point I uh, ordered a state impound for the vehicle in question. Time, an I'd also like the jury to refer to People's E as for the proper protocol of state impounding a vehicle. Uh, Officer Dunning, what prompted you to search the vehicle? Uh, as with uh, our requirements as a law enforcement agent, when impounding a vehicle, uh, we must make an inventory of the vehicle to make sure the goods it. inside are accounted for for the owner's sake. That is the uh, only reason it happens. Just, just rent through the vehicle to ensure uh, if there is any property of uh, Mr. Juggler, it can be returned to him without uh, any uh, any misleading or uh, it Guys, it's not, in it's not a good game. Uh, un unavailable. All right, thank you. What did you find in the vehicle when you searched it? When I searched the vehicle, uh, I found nothing of uh, Mr. Juggler's property until I reached the trunk. Uh, when I went through the trunk, I found a uh, what seems to be a hidden floorboard uh, operated by a mechanism. Uh, once I utilized the mechanism, <clears> I found 35 ounces of marijuana hidden in the uh, bottom of the uh, trunk of the vehicle. Okay. I would also like the jury to refer to people C, and as you can see, 35 ounces of weed were found in Mr. Juggler's vehicle, 25 ounces over the amount stated for someone to be charged with drug trafficking. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, I would also like to refer the people uh, to people's F, where during the search and seizure, 75 joints are found in the apartment uh, that Mr. Juggler owns. So not only was there marijuana found in his trunk, but at a later date, uh, 75 joints were found in his personal apartment. Okay. <clears throat> did you find any drugs on Ronald Juggler's person? Uh, I did, yes. However, it did fall under the legal limit for... Uh, 
be on someone's person. Uh, the amount in question was uh, one uh, three gram joint. One three. All right, thank you. Wait, he had more in than one. In the San Andreas Penal Code, how many ounces of marijuana is needed to charge someone with drug trafficking? Uh, according to the Penal Code, it will be ten <clears> ounces. <throat> okay. Thank you. No further questions. Well, Mr. Dunning, how are you today? Good, thank you. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and... Uh, I, I understand here that I'm going to be repeating a question, but I want to make sure I heard you correctly. Uh, how how okay. many drugs did you find on Mr. Juggler? I found a singular three-gram joint. Okay. Um, and if, if you could refer to uh, People's D, could you just verify that and, and restate what you just said? Okay, I've have, I've uh, had a look at it. Yes. Uh, okay. Now that that, would, that uh, photo yep. was taken by you. Is that correct? That was myself. Yes. Okay. Now within that photo, I I clearly see three joints. Is it not true that you just stated there is only one? Uh, that is correct. I uh, misinterpreted. M misinterpreted? Miscounted? Uh, uh, did you misinterpret? Do you not remember correctly? Uh. I do remember taking the uh, the drugs off his person. However, when I took the photo, uh, I must have uh, made a mistake. Okay, so is that the the only mistake that that you made throughout this entire instance? Yes, sir. All Action. right. Well, we've got... <clears throat> uh, this is a cross examination Sorry, a overruled. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, just got to actually have a few questions for you. Uh, did you see my client driving the vehicle uh, in the moments prior to um, him no longer being on the road? How much prior are we referring to here, sir? Uh, immediately prior to the accident. Not immediately prior. Okay. And can you prove that the drugs found within the vehicle uh, were in the vehicle at the time that Mr. Juggler was driving the vehicle? Uh, yes. Am I uh, allowed to give an explanation? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, when when I responded to the scene, uh, we had a call over dispatch uh, regarding a 1050, which is a vehicle crash. Uh, when that call came through, I was right around the corner. So between the time of the call coming through and my arrival on scene, it, it would be impossible for someone to tamper with the vehicle in that short amount of space and dump excessive amounts of narcotics. Okay. Now, can you verify the time of the accident versus the time of when that call came in? Uh, yes, I heard the crash myself when I was in, in patrol in that particular district, and the call came through approximately 10 seconds afterwards while I was already en route to the heard crash. So just to verify, how long did it take you to get on scene? Approximately 10 seconds. 10 seconds, and you heard the crash? Yes, sir. But you waited for... A report to come in before responding. Is that true? Uh, ne negative, sir. I uh, made my way there while the report was also coming through. You, you made your way there. And where were you when you heard the crash? Uh, may I reference my GPS to uh, provide an accurate street name? Absolutely. You may. I would be on Industry Passage on the east uh, eastbound side. Not the far eastbound, but uh, traveling eastbound. Industry passage. Industry passage. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Industry passage, is that not the movie studio? Uh, I don't believe so. That should be slightly north, uh, roughly... Uh, in conjunction with Marathon Ave. Okay, so if uh, if you look at the GPS at the corner of Heritage and what was it Heritage and an Industry, there's a cross bend which takes you north onto uh, what was that road north onto Marathon Ave. I was approximately in between the uh, the turn off between industry and before traveling northbound to Marathon Ave on Heritage Way. So were you on industry or heritage? I was in between both. Uh, I'm unable to give an accurate uh, uh, amendment due to the road simultaneously changing. 
So correct me if I'm wrong, but that bend would still imply you were on heritage and not industry. Industry would imply that you cut through the movie studio. Is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. I okay. did cut through the movie studio to optimize my response time. So you were how far away again? Uh, referencing so blocks, the, if you don't mind. The... One or two blocks. And you had... Correct me if I'm wrong, but did you state that you headed north and then went on to Marathon? Uh, no, I was just stating the uh, the the route in which uh, those two roads formed to give you an indication of where I was on a particular road. Gotcha. Okay. Now I have another question. <clears throat> Can you prove that my client imported those drugs? I can't prove they imported, no. Okay. Now I'm just going to read something from the, the penal code. And uh, Judge, do you, you have any issues with that? I do not have an issue with the uh, reading of the penal code, no. But uh, you are not to interpret for the uh, for the jury the meaning of the penal code. No, that absolutely will fall not. on the shoulders of myself or one of the other justices, or uh, upon their own shoulders if they so desire it. Uh, Mr. Full Person, if you wish to have the penal code uh, interpreted for you prior to your deliberations, you need only let me know once all arguments have been rested. Okay, Mr. Dunning, according to our penal code, drug trafficking is defined as the, un, uh, or it is unlawful to transport and import controlled substances to one place or another, such as marijuana and cocaine. Trafficking is determined based upon 10 or more ounces of marijuana, cocaine 50 or more grams, crack cocaine 50 or more grams, oxy 200 or more, uh, and meth is 50 or more. If you cannot prove that those drugs were imported by Mr. Juggler, why is it that you're pursuing a drug trafficking charge? Uh, because as the penal code states, it allows both transport and importation, meaning if the individual were to import, it would fall under trafficking, and also the transport of those drugs to another location is also counted as drug trafficking, in my interpretation of the penal code. Okay. Now, if something is one and another... Why is it that that's not one or the other? Because that's what I'm understanding from your interpretation of this. Mr. Shaw, you're going dangerously close to what I told you not to do. I apologize. Let me rephrase. Mr. Dunning, do you believe that you can prove that Mr. Juggler transported and imported the marijuana that was in his vehicle? I cannot prove importation. I can prove transportation. All right. Got another question. Was the vehicle locked at the time that you had searched it? No, sir. I'm going to ask one other question, and I know we've hit on this just a little bit prior to, but did you assume that the drugs were in the vehicle prior to? I know no, I'm hitting I on this no again. No, I indication that there would be any narcotics on scene. And I, I do have uh, something in terms of uh, what you had said earlier. Um, you referred to there being some kind of mechanism in the vehicle in order to uh, get yes, into sir. some false floor, correct? That, that is correct. Is it true that uh, most passenger vehicles uh, made as of recent have uh, areas reserved underneath the floor of the trunk for a spare tire? Uh, I am aware, yes. No further questions. Do the uh, people wish to uh, redirect? <clears throat> at this time, no, Your Honor. Do the people have any other witnesses they wish to call at this time? We do not, Your Honor. Do the people have any sworn affidavits or depositions that they wish read into the record at this time? Uh, no, Your Honor. Are there any exhibits that the people have not already mentioned uh, inside of uh, their current witness testimony that they wish to draw attention to at this time? No, Your Honor. All right. Then I assume the people will rest. Mr. Shaw, the floor is yours. All right. I'm going to call Mr. Juggler to the stand. Actually, uh, Your Honor, could I actually have uh, two minutes? Just sorting through my notes here. This court is in recess for two minutes. Mr. Shaw, are you prepared to uh, continue? Yes. I'd like to call Mr. Juggler to the stand. Yep, Mr. Juggler, uh, just one question. How did you end up on the side of the road? I was uh, struck by another vehicle. Thrown from my car and, and landed. Uh, did you have any prior encounters with the vehicle? I had noticed the vehicle when I left Little Soul. Across the street in the parking lot when I left, I 
started on my way up to Facebook. I noticed that it was following me and was keeping up pace on trying to chase me. Uh, Fred, could you could you speak up just a, a little bit? You're you're a little a little soft spoken at the moment. Is that better? Uh, much better. Yes. All right. Um. So yeah, when I when I left Little Soul, I was on my way up to Facebook. Um. Uh, after I'd taken my right onto Rockford. Rockford Drive. Uh, the car struck me from behind as I was coming up towards the the movie studio area. And it threw me out of control, and I was thrown from my vehicle. And how long was it before the police department arrived? Um, it was quite some time, at least five minutes, seven to seven minutes, somewhere in there, about five minutes, I would say. No further questions. Do the people have any questions? Yes, we do, Your Honor. We're going to object on scope almost immediately. I know it's coming. How are you doing today, Mr. Juggler? Uh, I'm okay. Considering. Do you own a red Nissan GTR? Uh, Objection, Your Honor. Uh, scope. All grounds. Yeah, it's relevant. Fuck. I fucked that up. I made no mention of any vehicle. Uh, no further questions. Uh, now, hold on. I have not ruled on this. Do you wish to rebut the objection, ma'am? Uh, yes, I do. There is a crash mentioned. I just want to confirm what kind of vehicle was involved in the crash. Overruled. It doesn't matter. It's already known. Uh, the, the objection or my rebuttal? The objection is overruled. You may proceed. Okay. All right, Mr. Juggler, do you own a red Nissan GTR? Yes. No further questions. That's, guys, they already knew that from Dunning running Mr. the plate. Shaw, do you wish to redirect? No. Mr. Juggler, you may step down. With the oh, I'm so happy they didn't ask him Thank questions. You know. Oh, God, I'm so happy. Mr. Shaw, do you have uh, any other witnesses you wish to call forward at this time? Uh, no, sir. No, Your Honor. Apologize. Do you rest at the... Do you have uh, Do you have any exhibits that you wish to call attention to that you have not already? No, Your Honor. The fence rests. I was going to look at the police report, but right. there's nothing that would have implied... Are the people prepared to give their closing remarks? Yes, we are. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor. All right. The people may give their closing remarks at this time. All right. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, you have now heard all the facts. Ronald Juggler was caught red-handed, and the evidence has oh. been laid out before you. He was found with marijuana in his vehicle, in his apartment, and therefore, what he has done falls into the category of drug trafficking as outlined by the Penal Code of San Andreas. It is unlawful to transport and it is unlawful to import controlled substances. The two are not mutually exclusive. He knew exactly what he was doing and he was caught. Now he has to deal with the consequences of his actions. And I trust the members of the jury to make the right decision and find Ronald Juggler guilty on all charges. Nothing further. Mr. Shaw, you're closing arguments. <clears throat> Your Honor and members of the jury, we're here today because Ronald Juggler has been falsely accused of being involved in some alleged drug or drug trafficking scheme. You'll have noticed a lack of evidence that would prove my client was in direct control of the drugs found within a vehicle. You'll also notice the lack of evidence proving my client imported those drugs. The police cannot and have not proven that those drugs were in the vehicle at the time he was run off the road, resulting in my client being ejected from his vehicle. In fact, Mr. Juggler is a victim of a crime, and instead of being helped, he's being accused on the basis that the police uh, have treated him differently because of their own incorrect assumptions. Now ask yourself this. Were the police chasing him beforehand? Do they have a verified timeline of events Objection? that occurred? Uh, yeah, what? Uh, as far as I'm aware, you can object during a closing statement. Yes, under uh, what grounds? Lacks evidence. Uh, there is nothing mentioned of a possible police chase or uh, any sort of conspiracy against Mr. Juggler. Sustained. Counsel, please uh, keep your closing uh, arguments to facts and evidence and testimony that has been put before the court at this time. Will do. I'll move on. Do they have a verified timeline? The jury will disregard the... Uh, the uh, notion of any kind of conspiracy or police chase. I will continue. 
Do they have a verified timeline of the events that occurred up to the situation resulting in Mr. Juggler being run off the road? Furthermore, the only person we heard from, aside from the paramedic that responded, was Dunning, who doesn't recall the difference between one joint and three joints, despite being the person on scene and the person taking the pictures. He also claimed to be on a street that suddenly placed him closer to the incident to attempt to justify a quicker response time. Is this the person that we're going to believe responded within seconds despite not seeing anything else? Mr. Juggler claims that it was anywhere from five to uh, at least five minutes versus Dunning's response time of 10 seconds. Also, if you believe the police cannot prove the drugs were in the vehicle before the collision, then there is reasonable doubt, and as such, you must find my client, Ronald Juggler, not guilty. Thank you. The biggest and thing here... Of the oh. jury, the people and the defense have put their cases before you. At this time, I'm going to read to you uh, the exact verbiage from, uh, from our penal code as to what uh, drug trafficking is. I will then interpret it for you to help you ascertain whether uh, whether Mr. Juggler is guilty or innocent. We might have to have a sidebar depending on what he says here, chat. <clears throat> it is unlawful to transport and import controlled substances to one place or another, such as marijuana and cocaine. Trafficking is determined based upon 10 ounces or 280 grams more of marijuana Cocaine is 50 or more grams. Crack cocaine, 50 or more grams. 50 or more grams of methamphetamine. Oxy is 200 or more. Chat. Smile. When written, this law was written in such a fashion that trafficking does not require both import and transport, merely that both activities in and of themselves are in fact illegal. Hmm... It is not an all or nothing. It is a one or the other. So, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you are now going to go back and deliberate. If you believe beyond a reasonable doubt that Mr. Juggler is guilty of drug trafficking, I'm going to require all of you to return a guilty verdict. However, if you have a reasonable doubt as to Mr. Juggler's guilt, then I'm going to charge you to return a not guilty verdict. I charge you once again to remember that the fact that some type of uh, criminal complaint has been logged against Mr. Juggler is not in and of itself guilt. Mr. Juggler is innocent until proven guilty here today. Until found guilty here today by the six of you. You have access to all facts and evidence. You have full access to the case files. And if you require anything or you have any questions which you wish to pose that will help you come to a verdict, you are to uh, ask for the bailiff, who will then relay that request to myself. Mr. Fullperson, do you understand these instructions as I have given them to you? We understand, Your Honor. <laughs> Fucking Alan. All right. I really want to see the jury's uh, deliberation. Is Hotted Bailey, streaming, guys? Please, uh, I'm not going to uh, watch now. I'll watch after the fact. The, but I'm uh, back really chains. curious to see... All right, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Okay, perfect. Follow, line. follow me over to the uh, judges' chambers. Hotted and Brenda, perfect. Okay, shoe, oh boy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this court is in recess until the jury has completed their deliberation. Please remain in the area. All right, bring this court back into order. What? You, you, ain't been, you ain't done this for a long time. You don't remember what a gavel Very like. nice gavel, sir. Exactly. A wonderful is gavel. That? Is that a, oh, that's a gavel. That's a gavel. Judge. That's a gavel. Judge Arson, that's a gavel. That's a gavel. That's a gavel. Okay. That's a gavel. What you have a is a, a, a little tinky the hammer. Hits a, like a diplo yeah. hammer? I, I got I to gotta work. Yeah. I got to work on my gaveling. It's all right. Yeah. I've been showed up by. You know what? Hey, uh, Judge Holiday, I have been shamed. Would you like to finish this trial out? Nope. I got to eat. <laughs> all right. I Mr. Like Fullman. Has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, that was, we chat, have reached that, a verdict. Your that Honor. was fast, chat. That was super fast. Oh, God. Drug trafficking. How do you find? We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. Fuck yeah. Whew. 
We did it, chat. We did it. At this Ooh. time, Mr. Juggler has been found not guilty of the crimes against him. He is free to go. We did it, this chat. This cold is adjourned.